Hey, my name is Alex Zhang and I'm a product manager here at AppNexus. Let's talk about Offer Quick Test or OQT. But to do so, we first need to talk about our previous optimization algorithm, V7. V7 was released in an exchange that was much smaller than the one we have today. And its operating principle was to figure out very, very quickly what was the exact evaluation we should bid for an offer inventory combination. The challenge was as our exchange grew, the number of optimization nodes that we had to test on increased exponentially. Since our approach to testing was to try every single optimization node, we were only able to allocate fewer and fewer impressions to each, which made the ability to find which ones perform best much, much more difficult. So we had a decision to make. Either we could iterate on top of our existing system, or we could take a completely new approach and rethink how an optimization system should work given the exchange that we have today. And so that's how we came up with Offer Quick Test. So Offer Quick Test has three distinct phases, rank, testing, and past. In the rank phase, we figure out all of the offers that are eligible to serve on your inventory and determine which ones have the best chance of performing. Those move on to our testing phase. In the testing phase, we allocate impressions across those offers and ensure that we're giving them enough volume to accurately assess their performance. The ones that get a clicker conversion will then move on to our pass phase. And it's here that we'll actually figure out a specific valuation for them to be bidding. For the ones that don't get a clicker conversion, they will be classified as failed and will stop receiving impressions. The outcome is a more intelligent system that mitigates risk during the testing phase while maximizing revenue for the offers that have passed. 